Take a look at this 1908 Model T. It was basic, simple to operate, but also a starting point for today's modern cars. In the same way, Mendelian genetics is a great starting point for understanding genetics, and it launched modern genetics. Gregor Mendel is considered the father of genetics. He was a monk who enjoyed experimenting with science at the monastery, probably more than being a priest. His most famous experiments involved pea plants. Mendel's pea plant experiments, conducted between 1956 and 1963, established many of the rules of heredity. By using the monastery's garden, Mendel worked with seven characteristics of pea plants. With the stem, was it tall or short? Is it axial or terminal? Was the flower purple or white? Were the pods green or yellow, inflated or constricted, and the seed, were they yellow or green, round or wrinkled? Let's take seed color as an example. Mendel showed that when a yellow pea and a green pea were crossbred, their offspring, called the F1 generation, always produced yellow seeds. However, in the next generation, called F2, the green peas reappeared at a ratio of one green to three yellow. To explain this phenomena, Mendel coined the terms recessive and dominant to describe certain traits. The green trait, which seems to have vanished in the first generation, is recessive, and the yellow is dominant. Mendel then theorized that genes can be made up of three possible pairings of heredity units, and he called these factors factors, and we now call them genotype. They are homozygous dominant heterozygous, and homozygous recessive. The big A represents the dominant factor, and the little a represents the recessive factor. In Mendel's crosses, the starting plants were homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive. The F1 generation looked like this, and then the F2 generation were Big A, big A, big A, little A, or little A, little A. This interaction between these genotypes determines the physical trait that is visible to us, which we call the phenotype. For any given trait, an individual inherits one gene from each parent so that the individual has a pairing of two genes. We now understand that different forms of the same trait are called alleles. For example, the trait is seed color, and the different alleles are green or yellow. If the two alleles that form the pair of a trait are identical, then the individual is said to be homozygous. And if the genes are different, then the individual is heterozygous. From these humble beginnings, the study of genetics was launched, and it led to the mapping of our DNA, a deep understanding of genes, and DNA fingerprinting. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.